e pés. Hey folks, welcome to another Print and Paint Kickstarter countdown. I have 14 campaigns to share with you this week, so let's get started. Mimic Manor, printable miniatures by Jamie Corte of Sweden, their eighth Kickstarter campaign. This set includes seven different mimics with a bookshelf, comfy chair, footrest, floor hatch, and more. You can get the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license and access to previous campaigns. This campaign ends on December 21st, with rewards expected in January. Yoshida Starship Map and Resin Cast Miniature by Zero Hour Art and Technology of the United States, their 40th Kickstarter campaign. This is one Starship model, the Yoshida, as well as poster maps for a passenger transport and a stealth variant. You can get the model and map separately or together. This campaign ends on December 20th with rewards expected in January. Rank Up, printable 10mm and 15mm armies by Peculiar Companions of Argentina, their third Kickstarter campaign. This is seven of Peculiar Companions' pre-existing historical-themed fantasy armies, adapted to 10 and 15mm. You can pick and choose the armies you like, get everything in 10 or everything in 15mm, or both, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on December 23rd, with rewards expected by February. Eggnog and Brains, printable ship and miniatures by Aether Studios of the United States, their fourth Kickstarter campaign. This set includes one large multi-piece nautiloid ship and crew, as well as some Voidborn and Abyssal monsters to face them. Pay what you want for this set, and you can also access previous campaigns, as well as get custom content created just for you. This campaign ends on December 23rd, with rewards expected by April. Mythos Villains, printable, metal, or resin cast minis by Kazrak Studio of Poland, their fourth Kickstarter campaign. This set includes eight models, four monsters, three humans, and an inside-out dog. You can get the whole set digitally or physically, and you can also get a commercial license and access to previous works. This campaign ends on December 29th, with rewards expected in May. King of Empire, printable miniatures by CGSOMAFX of Australia, their third Kickstarter campaign. This set includes 25 dwarves with various different weapons, as well as a king, a couple thrones, and more. You can get one dwarf, all 25, or the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on December 31st, with rewards expected in January. Arctic Tribes, printable miniatures by Monolith Arts of Hungary, their second Kickstarter campaign. This is a set of Arctic-themed adventurers with two mounts and four monsters. You can get the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on January 2nd, with rewards expected the same month. Lair of the Werewolf Printable Minis and Terrain by Foxcraft Creations of New Zealand, their 12th Kickstarter campaign. This is two sets. The first is five werewolf miniatures, and the second is a ruined tower and stone tiles, arch, and scatter terrain. You can get either set individually or both together. This campaign ends on January 8th, with rewards expected the same month. Savannah Bust, printable wildlife busts by Doombell Studio of France, their first Kickstarter campaign. 
The core set here is a giraffe, hyena, and zebra bust, with the rest being stretch goals. You can get the core set, or everything, optionally pre-supported, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on January 9th, with rewards expected in February. Wolf Clan by Zed Kino of Russia, their second Kickstarter campaign. This set includes three statues, a male and female warrior, and a wolf. You can get any of the statues individually or all together, optionally pre-supported, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on January 11th, with rewards expected in February. Goblins, printable miniatures by Miniforge of the United Kingdom, their fourth Kickstarter campaign. This is a set of 26 goblins with various different melee and ranged weapons. You can get the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on January 12th, with rewards expected the same month. Medieval Townhouse Printable Scenery by Tabletop Terrain of Canada, their third Kickstarter campaign. This is a multi-floor house with playable interior. Pay what you want for the house, pay a little more for a commercial license, and you can also access previous houses. This campaign ends on January 12th, with rewards expected the same month. Debbie's Diner Printable Scenery by Solo Miniatures of Mexico, their second Kickstarter campaign. This is a dilapidated diner with detailed interior and old scatter terrain. You can get the diner, the diner and the scatter terrain, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on January 15th, with rewards expected in February. Asgard Rising, Tales from Midgar, Printable Miniatures and Scenery by Rising Miniatures of Poland, their second Kickstarter campaign. This is a collection of Asgard Rising's previous Patreon releases, including multiple Viking warbands and sets of village terrain and palisades. You can get the minis and terrain separately or together, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on January 20th, with rewards expected the same month. That's all for now. Huge thanks to all my patrons on Patreon. Your support really means a lot to me. Check back Saturday for another Patreon preview. Like and subscribe if you enjoy the videos, and thanks for watching.